so we've got we've got our morning chores done we also had uh we ran to town had to get some things so now we're back it's kind of early afternoon really after lunch we just finished lunch to be honest with you so we're gonna go ahead and finish up what we talked about earlier we're gonna get um i'm gonna move alley to the actual stanchion side i've got to we use a uh, Whitney Farms organic and natural tomato and vegetable food. We're gonna put this on some of our our leafy vegetables here, and then of course we're gonna sprinkle some over on um, the you know the the, the mustard and uh, collards. So I'm sorry, it's sun so bright you can't hardly see nothing. So we're gonna do this bed here just did not make it. it I mean it, it's got some stuff growing. But it just didn't did make it. And I think it was the roosters that caused that. We They got out of the bachelor pad here one day and uh, just went to town in here. But this one's doing great. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the stuff kind of fertilized around it. Uh, we've got some, the only thing that didn't really come up here, the spin is starting to come back up here. The one thing that looked so bad here was just one row of broccoli and some of the kale. Um, uh, not kale swiss chard that was the only two things that really did not thrive here but then everything's starting to really come up really nice and in our area i can cover this and it'll grow up really up until march so we're hoping to have a good return look if you look in that pine straw bed over here in front of the, the asparagus that's looking yellow right now that's garlic and then you can see the heads of them start to come up through the pine straw we keep them deep bedded so that way they'll they'll make it and thrive all all season long until we get to march so let's get this uh fertilized then we're going to help Aiden get some hay, get the get alley moved with Josie, and then move the chickens to the permaculture. And I think we'll be kind of done for the day. All right, as Aiden takes that second load to Alley, um, all this hay, this is hay that was on the bottom down here. It's just got nasty and wet. So our cows, I mean, they, they made it, but we don't give it to our cows because we want a better quality hay going to our cows. So we either use this for two reasons. Uh, either we, we don't waste it. So either we put it, give it to the pigs and the pigs will utilize what they can out of it. And then what they'll do is just uh, make it good compost after they clean it out, eat what they want out of it and then bed in it and you know it becomes a, a good compost mechanism for the pigs or we'll take it in some of the spots in the fields that look kind of bad it's kind of just just either nasty grass or no grass at all we'll come back and put some of that on it which like we said in the last video has tons of seed and that seed will help germinate for spring grass because this is what this is so um you know it's we don't want to ever waste it um so it's either going to go to the pigs and we, we do give to the chickens too. So when I say pigs, I say pigs and chickens because that's they can make byproducts out of it, which is the compost. And and not saying the cows can't, but it's a whole other story. Pigs and and chickens will root in a whole lot better than any other animal. So we'll give it to them, let them bed in it, root in it, make it compost, or of course just put it out in the field. So we're almost done. We got a few more loads. We're gonna give to uh, the um, to the big cows. They're supposed to be helping me, but instead I think they're just playing.
a little regenerative farming we've uh, rolled out some we're gonna roll out the rest and let them kind of graze on it use what they want eat what they want and then step on all the rest to help the grass for next season All right, what you just saw was just a scratch of the surface of what else I've got to do. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hand this over to my dad and let him do the rest of the video so I can get my little chores done. All right, we are not going to get to the permaculture chickens today. I had a, a solar panel that just didn't seem like it was firing up and getting a good read on it. So I don't know what it is. It might just be my connection. So we're not gonna be able to do that today. Um, we thought about even looking in the bees because I have one that uh, seems to be a little just not a lot of bee activity and today you know short sleeve weather it's about 65 outside so if it wasn't windy i would go into them but it's very very windy it's supposed to be a cool front coming in the night so we got a lot done see the girls are playing by the creek here we're just walking checking everything we're gonna go look at the wheat fields and um other than that we're gonna wrap it up for the day um i hope you're enjoying our content um we are so close to 2,000 subscribers we're hoping that we can get there and the next uh few weeks uh, we would ask for your help we hope that you are sharing the max with like-minded folks people who enjoy farming homesteading sustainability uh, a little permaculture and good family fun so i hope you're enjoying our content thank you again for watching we cannot thank you enough if you're new to our channel we do ask that you subscribe that you ring the bell and that you enjoy hanging out with the max we do put out four to five vlogs a week, along with the live. The live is on Wednesday nights, the max at eight. So we hope that you will join us next Wednesday. We hope that you had a great Thanksgiving season. Now on to Christmas, and we hope that you have a great December. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.